Severe Weather 101, Thunderstorm Basic. <clears throat> what is a thunderstorm? A thunderstorm is a rain shower during which you hear thunder. Since thunder comes from lightning, all thunderstorms have lightning. Why do I sometimes hear meteorologists use the word convection <clears throat> when talking about thunderstorms? Usually created by surface heating, convection is upward atmospheric motion that transports whatever is in the air along with it, especially any moisture available in the air. A thunderstorm is a result of convection. What is a severe thunderstorm? A thunderstorm is classified as severe when it contains one or more of the following. Hail 1 inch or greater, winds gusting in excess of 50 knots, that is 57.5 miles per hour, or a tornado. How many thunderstorms are there? Worldwide, there are estimated 16 million thunderstorms each year. And at any given moment, there are roughly 2,000 thunderstorms in progress. These are about 100,000 thunderstorms each year in the U.S. alone. About 10% of these reach severe level. When are thunderstorms most likely? Thunderstorms are most likely in the spring and summer months and during the afternoon and evening hours. They can occur year-round and at all hours. Along the Gulf Coast and across the southeastern and western states, most thunderstorms occur during the afternoon. Thunderstorms frequently occur in the late afternoon and at night in the Plain States. What kind of damage can thunderstorms cause? <clears throat> Many hazardous weather events are associated with thunderstorms. Under the right conditions, rainfall from thunderstorms cause, cause flash flooding, killing more people each year than your hurricanes, tornadoes, or lightning. Lightning is responsible for many fires around the world each year and cause fatalities. Hail up to the size of softballs, can damage cars and windows and kill livestock caught out in the open. Strong, up to more than 120 miles per hour straight line winds associated with thunderstorms knock down trees, power lines, and mobile homes. Tornadoes with winds up to 300 miles per hour can destroy all bet, but the best man built man-made structure. Now I'm going to show you some pictures. Here's flash flooding. Here's lightning striking a tree. Here is hail damage to a car. Here's straight line winds, the aftermath of straight line winds. Here's the aftermath of a tornado. <clears throat> what is the difference between a severe thunderstorm watch and a severe thunderstorm warning? Severe thunderstorm watch is issued by the NOAA Storm Prediction Center. Meteorologists who are watching the weather 24-7 across the entire U.S. for weather conditions that are favorable for severe thunderstorms. A watch can cover parts of the state or several states. Watch and prepare for severe weather and stay tuned to the NOAA weather radio to know when warnings are issued. The severe thunderstorm warning is issued by your local NOAA National Weather Service forecast office. Meteorologists who watch a designated area 24-7 for severe weather that has been reported by spotters or indicated by radar. Warnings mean... There is a serious threat to life and property to those in the path of the storm. Act now to find safe shelter. A warning can cover parts of counties or several counties in the path of danger. How does a thunderstorm form? Three basic ingredients are required for a thunderstorm to form. Moisture rising unstable air, air that keeps rising when given a nudge, and a lifting mechanism to provide the nudge. The sun heats the surface of the earth, which warms the air above it. 
If this warm surface air is forced to rise, hills or mounds or areas where warm, cold, or wet, dry air bump together can cause rising motion. It will continue to rise as long as it weighs less and stays warmer than the air around it. As the air rises, it transfers heat from the surface of the of the earth to the upper levels of the atmosphere. The process of convection. The water vapor it contains begins to cool, releases the heat, condenses, and forms a cloud. The cloud eventually grows upward into area where the temperature is below freezing. As storm rises in freezing air, different types of ice particles can be created from freezing liquid drops. The ice particles can grow by condensing vapor like frost and by collecting small liquid drops that haven't frozen yet. They stay called supercooled. When two ice particles collide, they usually bounce off each other. One particle can rip off a little bit of ice from the other one and grab some electric charge. Lots of these collisions build up big regions of electric charge to cause a bolt of lightning which creates a sound wave we hear as thunder. The thunderstorm life cycle. Thunderstorms have three stages in life. The developing stage, the mature stage, and the dissipating stage. The developing stage of the thunderstorm is marked by a cumulus cloud as being pushed upwards by a rising column of air. Cumulus cloud soon looks like a tower, called a tower in cumulus, as the updraft continues to develop. There is little to no rain during the stage, but occasionally lightning. Thunderstorm enters the mature stage when the updraft continues to feed the storm, but precipitation begins to fall out of the storm, creating a downdraft, column of air pushing downward. When the downdraft and rain cool air spreads out along the ground, it is forms a gust wind or a line of gusty winds. Mature stage is most likely time for hail, heavy rain, frequent lightning, strong winds, and tornadoes. Eventually, a large amount of precipitation is produced and the updraft is overcome by the downdraft beginning the dissipating stage. At the ground, the gust front moves out a long distance from the storm and cuts off the warm moist air that is feeding the thunderstorm. Rainfall decreases in intensity, but lightning remains a danger. Here is an image of the three stages. What does a thunderstorm look like? Thunderstorms can look like tall heads of cauliflower, or they can have anvils. An anvil is flat cloud formation at the top of the storm. An anvil forms when the updraft warm air rises, has reached a point where the surrounding air is about the same temperature or even warmer. The cloud growth abruptly stops and flattens out to take the shape of an anvil. Thunderstorm types. Often called popcorn convections, single-cell thunderstorms are small, brief, weak storms that grow and die within an hour or so. They are, they are typically driven by heating on a summer afternoon. Single-cell storms may produce brief heavy rain and lightning. <clears throat> a multi-cell storm is common garden variety thunderstorm in which new updrafts form along the leading edge of a rain-cooled air. Individual cells usually last 30 to 60 minutes, while a system as a whole may last for many hours. Multi-cell storms may produce hail, strong winds, brief tornadoes, and or flooding. Squall line is a group of storms arranged in a line, often accompanied by squalls of high wind and heavy rain. Squall lines tend to pass quickly and are less prone to produce tornadoes than are supercells. They can be hundreds of miles long, but are typically only 10 to 20 miles wide. <clears throat> a supercell is long-lived, greater than one hour. In a highly organized storm feeding off an updraft, a rising current of air that is tilted and rotating, this rotating updraft as large as 10 miles in diameter up to 50,000 feet tall, can be present as much as 20 to 60 minutes before a tornado forms. Scientists call this rotation a mesocyclone. When it is detected by Doppler radar, the tornado is a very small extension of the large rotation. Most large and violent tornadoes come from supercells. 
This is some of the features to be found in Supercell Storm. Every storm is different. Not all storms will display all the features in this picture. Do you see rain and hail are to the right? Tornado is in the middle with a wall cloud. A bow echo is a radar signature of a squall line that bows out as winds fall behind the line. Circulation develops on either end. Strongly bowed echo may indicate high winds in the middle of the line, but the storms are moving forward most quickly. Brief tornadoes may occur on the leading edge of the bow echo. Often the north side of the bow echo comes dominant over time, gradually involving in a common shaped storm complex. This bow echo is in Springdale, Arkansas, May 21, 2013. A mesoscale convective system, an MCS, is a collection of thunderstorms that act as a system. An MCS can spread across an entire state and last more than 12 hours. On radar, one of these monsters might appear as a solid line, a broken line, or a cluster of cells. This is all in composing terms can include any of the following storm types. Mesoscale Convective Complex, an MCC, a particular type of MCS, an MCC is a large circular long-lived cluster of showers and thunderstorms identified by satellite. It often emerges out of other storm types during the late night and early morning hours. MCC can cover an entire state. Mesoscale Convective Vortex, MCV, a low-pressure center within an MCS that pulls winds into a circular pattern or vortex with a core only 30 to 60 miles wide and 1 to, two, one to 3 miles deep. An MCV is often overlooked in standard weather analysis, but an MCV can take on a life of its own, persisting for up to 12 hours after its parent MCS has dissipated. The orphaned MCV will sometimes then become the seed of the next thunderstorm outbreak. An MCV that moves into tropical waters, such as the Gulf of Mexico, can serve as the nucleus for tropical storm or hurricane. A derecho is a widespread long-lived windstorm. It is associated with a band of rapidly moving showers or thunderstorms. Although a derecho can produce destruction similar to that of a tornado and damaging typically is directed in one direction along with relatively straight swath. As a result, the term straight line winds sometimes is used to describe derecho damage. By definition, if the wind damage swath extends more than 240 miles and includes wind gusts of at least 58 miles per hour or greater along most of its length, then an event may be classified as a derecho. This is the end of the Severe Weather 101 Thunderstorm Basics.